Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. Okay. This one is by uh, let's see what they call themselves officially. I don't know if I can read it, but let's see here. Well, anyways, this one's by Rogue. Okay. And it's called Colossal Claude. It's an Imperial IPA coming in at 8.2% alcohol by volume and 75 IBUs. This thing's a monster, man. And um, canned on 9-16-21, so it's pretty darn fresh. Less than a month old. I've never had this before, never seen it before. Nothing. First time. So, got a uh, six pack of 12 ounce cans for like, uh, I don't know, it's only like 12 bucks. Really good deal. So, pretty neat looking can. I would consider Rogue a, a budget craft. Here's some literature if you want to read it. Go ahead and pause it. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. Yeah, I always thought, thought of Rogue as kind of like a budget craft beer company. Make decent beers, but not like super awesome. Definitely a Westie. Colossal Claude, oh yeah, all right. Been a while since I've done a rogue beer, actually. So we have a frothy, creamy, silky head. Got some bubbles popping up in the middle there. Looks decent, though. Okay, nice looking beer. Oops, shit, darn it. Rah. All right, sorry about that. Um, so we have a slightly hazy Kind of amber color looking beer. Okay. Slightly hazy. Okay. Nice looking head there for sure, huh? Decent looking beer. You know? Just getting aroma on this puppy. Wow. That smells really good actually. Getting some pine, some nice sweet kind of smelling pine. Some floral action. That smells really good actually. It's just like pretty much a pine bomb, but it's kind of like a sweeter pine in the floralness. Smells delicious. It almost has that candy kind of, you know, note to it. Let's get a hit. Cheers. This is freaking good. This is very tasty, actually. Look at the head retention and lacing already. Wow. Uh, this is a lot better than I was expecting it to be. This is very tasty. Very tasty. Beautiful looking. Thick, rich head. Damn. This is probably the best rogue beer I've ever had. To be honest, straight up. Ooh. Oh, man. This beer is dangerous. You're getting a ring every sip too, so this is a very, very well constructed, yummy, yummy beer. This is a candy beer kinda. This is a good Westie right here. Man, this one caught me off guard here. Yeah, we're getting like a candy note, kinda like a some kind of a hard candy, starburst kind of candy. really really smooth mouthfeel wow uh i like this beer wow 
Wow, that is amazing. It really is. It is amazing. It's blowing me away right now. Can't believe it's rogue. Wow, I like it. This is very tasty. Nice piney notes, uh, some floralness. You know, it's hard to describe, but all I can tell you is it's really good. It's really good. It's got medium mouthfeel, real smooth. Very smooth. Uh, excellent malt backbone to it also. This is too easy to drink for over 8% beer. This thing will get you in trouble. I'm going to drink a few of these. This does not hit like an 8%er. This is too easy to drink. So I'm going to chill out for a minute. Let's see if I can pick up something else. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this beer's pretty darn tasty, man. For the price that I paid for it, that's pretty damn good. So we'll do one more swirl. See if we can pick up something else, and we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as what I mentioned earlier. It's really like a yummy candy kind of IPA. IBUs don't feel like they're 75, but they feel lower. That's pretty much what I got in this puppy. Uh, no booziness, no raw alcohol notes, nothing like that. Just very well hidden for eight over eight percenter. And uh, I think it's totally delicious. I really do. But it'll get you screwed up pretty quick, man. At the levels of ABV and how easy this stuff is to drink, man, you gotta watch it. So, um, yeah, medium mouthfeel, really nice uh, lacing on the glass there. Uh, I like it a lot, and the, the price is outstanding. So, um, on a scale of one to five stars, uh, I'm going to give this sucker four and a half stars. That's how much I like it. And uh, I'm glad I picked it up. So, uh, if you see it and you get it fresh, I, re I would recommend this beer. Not so much for a beginner, but, you know, if you're a seasoned veteran or you're into craft beers, go for it. It's pretty damn tasty. Alright, well, y'all have an awesome day, and uh, we'll check you later, okay? See ya.